Hey, what's up guys? Sahai Man back doing another review. And uh, if you guys watched my unboxing video for the Batman vs Superman Armored Batman, we are actually going to be taking a look at the full review now at the figure. Of the figure. That made no sense. So, we have the packaging right here. It's uh, got a, like a Gotham City in the background. You can see the bat signal here. And then if you look closely, you can see inside the actual bat logo, you can see Batman and Superman kind of facing off right there with each other. And you can see the rain. Again, you can see the city in the background. You got the Batman vs Superman logo, Hot Toys. This is a Movie Masters. And uh, this is what? MMS 349, one six scale figure. Right back here are the credits. So it's your standard kind of uh, Hot Toys packaging, you know, the shoe box. So you just take off the slip right here on the top and you have the insert which just shows a really cool image right there of the armored Batman figure and you know the people that helped make this possible. Then you take this out and you have the tray right here which I've already removed the figure. So you got the instructions right here. Make sure you guys take a look at this. But um, so I have this all out. Let me show you all the accessories that come in this. So before we get into the 360 look at the Batman figure, I'm gonna show you everything that he comes with. So he comes with the grenade launcher as he you know does use in the movie. Now I thought this was gonna open and close, but it doesn't like kind of, you know, you can put the grenades in, but it doesn't do that. But you have the grenade um, gun here, which is pretty cool. You got the big opening right there. So if you wanted to put one of the grenades in there, you can. And then this extends right here, right back just like that. And uh, this has like two little kind of attachments right here. But you can see the cool little detailing on it. Again, I don't know if this actually opens or not. I haven't really messed with it and the instructions don't say that it does. But uh, you have this right here, the, the uh, grenade launcher. We have the uh, one of the hands right here that holds on to the grenade. He holds on it just fine. So you can see that right there. I'll show you guys how it looks like with the actual figure on in a second as well. Comes with two grenades right here. One of them is closed and the other one is open. So you can see the differences in them right here. So pretty cool You get a pair of these. You have kind of like an open hand right here. You get actually kind of like, well, almost two of them right here. This one looks like it's, it holds something as well, but you can see the uh, detailing on this is pretty nice. You have another hand right here. And then you have another one right here. And then plus he does have fist hands, but that's how I have the, the figure displayed. And I'll show you guys that in a second. He comes with the, uh, the grapnel, which is actually pretty cool. Now this doesn't really do anything. It doesn't extend or anything like that, but you can see right here, it does look pretty cool. Surprised it didn't come with like a, a piece of rope. Some of the Hot Toys, um, they do come with the, the rope accessory with it, but you get that right there. You also get the um, extra interchangeable face plate, which I'll show you guys in a second looks like Ben Affleck to me. You can see kind of the open mouth, you can see the teeth. And the base and everything I will show you after I show you the 360 look at the figure. at the base. So the base is a little bit different compared to other bases that I'm used to from Hot Toys. You have the plate right here which reads Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Armored and then you have the Batman vs Superman logo and it's kind of like a, a concrete base and you have the rod right here with just like a little like stand right there to, to place the figure on so you just kind of screw that in. But that's it for the base but the cool thing about it is you can display it with this kind of popped up so this comes comes out. It's kind of a unique way to display it. I personally don't display my figure that way, but it's an option that you can do. So I think that is really cool that you can display it like this if you, you know, you really wanted to. So here we have Batman. Now, again, if you guys don't, if you guys aren't familiar with a lot of how I review Hot Toys, I don't really go over a lot of the articulation. I just basically just show you close-ups of the figure. But um, this is a beautiful piece, guys. Definitely resembles Ben Affleck. Now, I'm going to take the head sculpt off the head right here to show you a close-up on it. And you can see how cool this is. So I have, I like to display my figure with the, um, kind of like the angry face. I mean, look at the detailing on the teeth. You can see kind of like the five o'clock shadow and of course the helmet has a bunch of battle damage you know little scratches on it so it looks freaking nice it does come with batteries in here you just have to put them in yourself there's an on and off switch right here i'll show you guys what it looks like with the lights off and on but um the detailing on this is amazing i love how the helmet looks it's very very cool uh to pop this out you just kind of see how i did this last time you just kind of push this in just like that and it is uh have a magnet in there so you can see this one right here but i i personally like the more angrier look for um batman so the outfit looks great you can see it has a separate piece right here which is uh the strap 
and then you have the cape, you know, which is attached to right here. And you can see just the, all the cool little detailings on the actual armor. The belt is also, uh, looks like it is a separate piece. And again, you can just see the cool, the mech suit just looks great. You got the shoulder pads, all the little, you know, gears and everything that are on here. I, I display him with the uh, closed fist. I think I, I like that look a lot better. But you can see the gauntlets right here. Again, this guy just got has a lot of battle damage to him. It's just a, such a nice figure. You have the uh, utility belt. You can see all the little compartments that he has right here. And then right here on the back, you can kind of see the spinal area. And just all the cool little detailing on the armor. And there's a strap that goes around here. And you got the bat butt right there. And this is uh, kind of like a material right here. So you can see it. He, he is wearing the Batman suit, the regular suit underneath that. And then you have the uh, leg, the leg armor. And the gauntlets right here on the lower legs. You can see right there, it looks really cool. And the bottom of the lower legs, you can see the armor with a little bit more battle damage. Look at the side view of that, how it has the spikes in the bottom of the, uh, of the boots, which I think looks so awesome. Here's a front look at the lower leg armor. And the bottom right there, you can see a close detail on the boots. Oh, man, this guy is so, so cool. Now, the one flaw that I have, or one thing I don't like about this figure a whole lot, is the articulation. The articulation on him is very weak. Again, I mentioned I don't really go over articulation on the figures, but when he holds on to the, um, the grap not the grapnel gun, the uh, grenade launcher, I can't get his arms to cross together. It's just very stiff, you know what I mean? It's just, you can't really get his arms to go in and out a whole lot. The same thing goes with the legs because it feels like it's gonna tear. Same thing with going forward and back. He bends at the knee, I guess okay, but again, I don't really like messing with the articulation a whole lot on my Hot Toys figures because I don't like, I don't want to mess up the um, either the material or just you know break the figure because these are not cheap figures. Now the cape overall I think looks great. It's got a little bit of uh, worn right there at the bottom, a little bit of dirty and it's torn. But um, I still wish that we would we could get like a uh, wired cape with these figures because I think that would look very very awesome. It would make the figure pop out a lot more. But so that's pretty much it. Just a quick little close up on here. But let me show you guys a little bit of comparisons. So here he is with a sideshow collectible statue. The armored Batman, this is the first one that I got right here. So you can see the difference. They are in scale. So if he were to stand up right, he's kind of kneeling. It would be in scale since it is a 1-6 uh, scale statue. But the, um, you know, if you can't afford a Hot Toys one, then, I, you know, the DC Collectibles one would be cool if you're like a 1-6 collector. Here's another comparison, and that is with the Mezco Comic-Con exclusive armored Batman, which these are the three favorite armored Batman figures that I own from Batman vs. Superman. With the lights off, you can see how bright the eyes really are. So it is very. There's my quick little look at the Batman versus Superman armored Batman. This is a figure that I've been waiting for quite a while. Hopefully, we'll be getting the Nightmare one soon and the regular suit Batman, which I really want to get. Now, again, the only thing I don't really like about this is that it. The articulation on it is a little bit weak, but you get a lot of cool accessories like the base and the interchangeable hands, the grenade launcher. Um, but yeah, the only, that's the only weak thing about it is just the articulation. Other than that, it is awesome. What I wish it would have came with is maybe it, if it was die cast, I think it would have been a lot better if this was die cast. And if he came with a battle damaged uh, mask. If you guys remember in the movie, he's got like half a mask where you can see Bruce Wayne. That's what I wish this figure would have came with. But um, I know there's a chrome version of this as well. If you guys have it, let me know what you guys think. But overall, this is it, guys. If you guys want this, Big Bad Toy Store did get this in stock. So click in the link in, click the link in the description, guys. Support my channel. And if you guys want to pick it up, uh, I'd appreciate it. But let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys going to pick this up or any of the Hot Toys Batman versus Superman? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Peace.